How do you want players to respond on the soccer field during games when things go wrong? Whether they get scored on, or they're getting scored on a lot, uh, they miss a shot on goal, get beat uh, to a ball, uh, referee makes a bad call. How do we want players to respond in those situations? I ask that question because the way the coach and parents respond in those situations is probably exactly how the players are going to respond as well. Maybe not immediately, but they're going to learn over time that when things don't go your way, it's appropriate to scream, yell, complain, point fingers, and just get upset. Versus when things don't go your way, you focus on the things that you can control, find ways to fix it, work harder, um, and take responsibility for what's going on in the field. And I bring this up because this is very important because it happens in soccer games all the time where, you know, for example, if a team is, you know, getting beat by a lot, you know, how do the coaches and parents respond in those situations? What are they doing on the sidelines to support the team on the field? It's bound to happen no matter how, no matter what team and how long you play, you're going to get into a match where, you know, it's just not an even match. And, you know, as hard as you work, you're going to lose that game, um, sometimes by a lot of goals. And are the coaches on the sidelines, when that's going on, getting frustrated and starting yelling at their players? Or are they continue to teach, give good information, staying calm, encouraging, motivating the players to continue to work hard, focusing on the right things? Are the parents on their sideline continue to cheer and, and, and recognize when um, their kids are, you know, doing the little things right, working hard and staying focused and keeping encouraging them as well, you know, or is it the opposite where the, the comments become sarcastic or, you know, mom or dad get up and walk away or the coach, you know, stops really, you know, doing anything on the sideline and completely turns off from the game and, you know, just feels that this game is out of reach and there's no more than that coach can do to help their team. It's, very important in these situations that as parents and coaches, we show kids exactly what you need to do in tough situations like this. When things are not going well for you, how do you respond? And we teach them through our actions and our words. When a coach on the sideline, when things are going wrong, is calm uh, and helping their players get through it, you know, focusing on what the team can do to make adjustments versus just screaming and yelling, maybe going after the referee, making sarcastic comments, then the parent, the, t the kids are going to learn that, you know, this is what I have to do to handle the situation. I have to focus on what I can control. I have to focus on continuing to work hard. I've got to focus on how I can help my teammates around them because that's what I see my coach doing. But if I see my coach doing the opposite, just getting angry, screaming and yelling, giving up, then most likely I'm going to do the same as a player. Well, I'm going to learn, and this is the tragic part, that that's okay. So one of our responsibilities as coaches and parents is not just, you know, to be, you know, excited for the kids when things are going well and cheering them on and giving instruction and, and being there for them, but also, most importantly, when things are not going well. For me, these are some of the most important moments in sports important times we can teach players great lessons for life is that when things aren't going well this is how we respond this is what we do this is how we come together as a team and we help each other out get through it and do whatever we can to find a positive result and learn from what's happening so something very important to think about the next time you're at the field and things aren't going your way maybe we don't get upset, start screaming at the referee, screaming at players, you know, getting into a conflict with the other coach, make sarcastic comments as a parent getting up and just walking away or throwing their hands up or, you know, worse, you know, start yelling at your kid. Um, do we show the kids how to behave in that situation, how to do what is necessary to get the best out of it, to learn from it? Um, and at the end, once it's over, be proud of the way they acted and what they did, despite the fact that they maybe didn't win that game. But focusing on the fact that, more importantly, that they come out of it with a bigger lesson and a lot of things learned because of the way they handled that situation on the field.